Welcome to Volunteer Connect. Thank you for volunteering your time to make calls for our important effort. I'm going to take just a few minutes to familiarize you with how the system works so you can start calling. Each new user is provided with a username and password so that you can log in securely to our system. You can find your administrator's name, phone number, and email on the top of the home page in case any questions or concerns arise. Once you're logged in, at the top of the screen you'll see this user tutorial and a link to begin calling. When you're ready to begin making calls, simply click begin calling and the project to which you've been assigned will appear on your screen. On some sites, an admin may let you select the project to dial from a drop-down menu. Next, select the type of phone you are using and enter the number for that phone. It's important to note that this is the number that our system will call to connect you. Most of the time this will be your 10-digit regular or cell phone with the area code. Or, if you've been provided the soft phone number, you can enter that. Please be aware that Volunteer Connect will hide your personal number from view to the person you're calling. Instead, the caller ID will show whatever your admin is programmed for their organization. In the first box on the calling page, you'll see the instructions for dialing. These may change from project to project, so please review them before you call the first record. You can also hide them from view once you feel you're familiar with them. Below the instructions are the names of the individuals you'll be calling. You'll also see the live answer script, in case someone answers your call, and the voicemail script, if you get an answering machine. Some projects require you to verify the person that you spoke to, in which case you'll see that on your screen. Finally, you'll see a section for call notes, the response codes for a call, and the Submit and Hang Up button. To start a calling session, verify your phone number, then select the Click to Begin link in the upper right corner. Next, click the Call Now button and wait for your phone to ring. Simply answer your phone and Volunteer Connect will connect you automatically. If someone answers the phone, follow the live answer script on screen, selecting answers from the drop-down menus. Volunteer Connect will automatically jump you to the next question or closing that's been programmed. It's important that you stay on the script, but at the same time, you should relax and be yourself. If you reach a voicemail, select the voicemail script to display the message we'd like you to leave. If your project has an automated message loaded, you will see a Play Audio Message button. That will allow you to deliver that message and move on to the next call automatically. If not, read the voicemail script to the answering machine. Before submitting a call and moving on, you must select a response code. This simply tells us the result of your call. Please take a moment to select the appropriate code for your call, whether it was a no answer busy, wrong number, refusal, left voicemail, or completed call. Finally, click Submit and Hang Up, and you'll be taken to the next record. It's important not to hang up your phone, but instead stay on the line and our system will transfer you automatically. When the next record appears, click the Call Now button and you'll be connected. After you've made your calls and you're ready to end your session or take a break, submit the final call and then just log out of the system. At that point, you can also hang up your phone to disconnect. Our system will save all of the data in real time that you just captured. We want to thank you once again for volunteering for our effort. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your administrator for assistance.